So uh, today, uh, hi Abhinav and Ravi, uh, could you please turn the mute on? Mute. Uh, Miss, I take a mute. Okay. So uh, the next that we are going to you know, start talking about is creating an app. Okay. So while I'm talking about creating an app, I'm talking about basically designing my own app. In case I'm not very happy with what Salesforce has given, I can go ahead and build my own app as well. All right, and that's what we are going to do. Now to build your own app, all that you have to do is you just have to understand the different components to form the app. All right. So first thing that we will build is an app. App is basically the user interface part of it uh, that you get to see here on Salesforce. You see these apps, right? Sales, marketing, project manager, whatever you know apps you have here. So this is the app. Okay. What happens with an app? This app basically controls. Uh, what all uh, tabs will be displayed on the page or on the, under the app like if I select the marketing app you will see the tabs have changed if I select the uh, community app the tabs have changed correct so that's what uh, happens with a certain app got it but that's how things actually change in the app so first thing that we are going to do is we are just going to create an app okay and for this we are just going to do an example we'll take a small scenario and we'll build an app around that right so let's build an app for let's build an app for uh, project management okay let's say you just want to you know do project management in your company and for that you need an app so that app will build using Salesforce, all right? So the starting point should be think about what all the data you need to store for that particular app. Okay. I'll just show you how you should start. Open an Excel spreadsheet, and you don't need to do it now. There's something that you can do it later, but I'm just going to show you a demonstration. So to start building an app, first thing is to plan the app, correct? First thing that we have to do is we have to plan the app, what and how my app should be. So first thing that you start uh, need to start thinking about is what is going to be the data structure of the app? What all the database objects I need for that app? So when I say project management app, what all I need? I need a table to manage the projects. Then I need uh, okay. so I need a you know a tab uh, sorry object to manage the project where uh, to track the projects. So I will just make an entry for project. What all fields do I need in the project? Let's say name of the project. Start date. End date. Um, priority. Status. All right. So we are talking about the project management app, and these are the fields that we have listed here. Correct. The second one is. What is the second one? Which other object uh, do you think we should put here? 
apart from project in the project management app let's say clients for client what only data i need to store name of the client a street address city state contact number country phone number fax website so that's my second object hmm okay and then there can be third object for consultants people who are working in my company and i have i'll have fields like first name of the consultant last name email uh phone number let's say a mobile number for the consultant and that's it let's say okay so to start off with i have three objects projects clients and consultants correct now what i need to do is i'll start create building the app in salesforce so first thing we'll build the app then we will build all these three objects okay and we will put all three of them uh under the same app project management app okay so let me just log in into uh ravi's account and then i'll do that Have your microphone muted, please. Ah, uh, yeah, please. Eight point six. Thank you. All right. So first thing that we have to do is we just have to create an app. How do you create an app? It's very simple. You guys don't have to do it parallelly. Please just focus on what I am doing here on my screen. After the session, you guys can go back and do it. Fine. It's very simple. But I want you to understand the navigation and the concept part really. Uh, well so that you don't get confused while you're de developing your own app right so first thing to start off uh, creating an app the first thing you should just open an excel spreadsheet try to list down the objects and the fields that you need uh, for that app all right now just go ahead to your salesforce.com go to setup then go to create under setup create you have the option of apps so you should just go to setup create apps and then create a new app here select custom app go to next give it a name whatever name you want project manager or whatever you know name that you want click on next you have an option of inserting an image for it but you can just skip that part go to next all right step 4 it will ask do you want any of the tabs existing tabs so currently there are so many tabs available here right so it will ask you do you want any of the existing tabs here so you can just skip that home tab is going to be there by default if you want some other tab you can include that but if you don't want any of the tabs you can just skip that part and click on next fine step 5 you just need to click on visible here okay what it means there is something which we will discuss after a few more sessions so for now you are good to just click on visible and proceed click on save that's it so your project manager app is ready where will you get to see that app under this app menu see project manager app we just created this app and this is ready 
but it does not have any tab under it right because we have not yet created those it's a blank app as of now it just has the home tab nothing else correct so your app is ready what's the next thing that we have to do we have to now start creating these objects so these objects need to be created in the backend so one you have to create the object in the database in the backend database and you also have to create a tab for that object in the front end got it so there are two things that you have to create one you have to create an object object in salesforce terminology basically object refers to a database table got it so these are what these are all database tables that we are talking about here the project this is a database table clients is a database table consultants is a database table so this these are all database tables that we are talking about so all that you have to do is you just have to go ahead and you know create this object in the uh, backend database and then you'll have to create the tab for it so first of all let's create the object to create object you again need to go to setup and then click on create objects and then you will just go ahead and click on new custom object name of the object is project okay so you don't have to do anything you just have to enter the name and you can click on save that's it your object has got created okay and this object that you have created is called a custom object so salesforce has two types of objects standard object and custom object standard object is basically the objects which are already there in your salesforce like the account lead campaign contact opportunity those are called standard objects okay the ones that you create are called custom objects okay so project is a custom object since i created it now under the object there will be fields correct inside the object there is this concept of fields all these fields are there right name start date and date priority status now uh, by default when you create an object by default there are some uh, you know basic fields which get created for that object and these are also called standard fields okay so when you created project object you see the project name field has got created owner last modified by created by these fields have got created by default all right other fields any field apart from these you need you have to just go and create it as a custom field you just have to click on the new button here and create the field so for project what all fields we need name is already created done start date end date priority status okay. so let me just go ahead and create so for start date click on new when you try to create a field first thing it is going to ask you is the field type what type of field you are creating so you can say a uh, date field go to next okay start date is we definitely going to be date so start date then go to next visible next Okay. that's it so the start date field got created now see same way i need to create an end date field so what are fields we have listed here so first of all you should list down all the fields that you need for your uh, application and then you should just go ahead and start creating those so now i need another field called end date so for the end date field all that i have to do is i just have to go to the field data type in this case should be date again go to next click on end date 
नेक्स्ट मेक इट विजिबल क्लिक ऑन नेक्स्ट सेव इट फाइन सो आई हैव द प्रोजेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट रेडी विथ द स्टार्ट डेट एंड एंड डेट फील्ड करेक्ट now the priority so when you try to create this priority field the data type for the priority field is going to be a pick list i just want the user to have three options low medium high so it's going to be a pick list allows users to select a value from a list you define Go to next. करेक्ट सो नाउ इट्स विजिबल मेड इट विजिबल गो टू नेक्स्ट स्कूल एंड सेव इट सो द प्रायोरिटी फील्ड इज ऑल्सो रेडी ओके एंड वन इज स्टेटस सो लेट मी गो हेड एंड क्रिएट वन मोर फील्ड फॉर स्टेटस Which is also going to be a pick list. Click on next. Status. Uh, status can be uh, not started. in progress and completed so these can be three options for the status or it can be whatever you know whatever your requirement is you can just put to that i have created a field called status and my object is ready so the project object is ready i thought of a few fields and i have created i am successfully done with creating all the fields so the project object is ready now but this object has got created as a backend database table what i need to do is i need to create a tab for it so that people can access it from here correct to create something in the backend how will people access it you need a tab for people to access it so tab is the button from where people will access your object correct it's more like you know if you <clears throat> install a fan in your uh, you know room you just cannot uh, be done by installing the fan you also have to have a switch board and a switch on it right so that you can operate the fan so that switch is missing yet that needs to be added so to get that tab all that you have to do is you just have to go and click on setup create tabs under setup menu under create you see the option of tabs so custom object tab click on new like the project object tab style this tab style can be anything or whichever picture you like you just select it go to next this step too you can just keep it as it is for now later on we will understand what exactly is happening here okay step 3 it asks you that out of so many apps that you have in salesforce you have the sales app marketing community and the project manager app you have here this is the one that you just created under which all apps you want to display this tab the one that you are creating right now the project tab under which all apps you want this tab to be displayed so you have an option of selecting all 
or you just have an option of selecting the ones that you want so let me just put it inside the project manager app so now this tab will be visible only under this project manager app all right click on save all right so the tab is visible here i'm on the project manager app and i see the projects tab here. is it clear that's it just clear. now what you have to do is all that we need to do is we just need to go back and uh, click on this projects tab and then click on new and then make the entry here correct hmm. that's it that's the only thing that we have to do now you can start entering the project details from here the start date, the end date, the priority, the status whatever, I mean, whatever fields you have defined those fields will be available here and you can actually make it so let's say project name is ABC. ABC project starts on 14th October. Let's say it ends on uh, 20th November. It's a high priority project. Status is not sorted. Here. So that's how we can actually start building our own app. So we are done with one object. Now the same way, the way we did this uh, first object, exactly the same way, you just have to go ahead and create the second object. Creating the second object again, do the same thing. So in case you missed any of the steps in the previous one, just let me know or just follow this one. Yep. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, red red color in a field means is mandatory. Yes, correct. So if we want to uh, make more one more than one mandatory, so is is optional or is automatically like, uh, Okay, well, that's something which I'll show you right now. Okay. So let's create the another object, client object, and uh, I'll take up that question during this. Create object. New custom custom object. Now this time it's called client right mm -hmm. now create a new field here the basic fields are created including the client name what other fields I need the street address city state things like this so Street address is going to be what data type? What data type are we going to put for the street address? Address text. Text area. Text. text. Okay. Uh, we don't think we need text area. Text area is basically uh, just 255 characters and uh, on multiple lines. Street address can be text. And then what is the maximum length you want to allow? Let's say you want to allow 50 characters maximum. Okay, if you want to make a field mandatory or required, required is a terminology that we use here. Make okay. it go ahead and make the field required here. Okay. Any field you want to make unique, you can make it. Unique means it will not allow duplicate values for that field. Okay. Mm -hmm. And any field you want to use as an ID needs to be made as an external ID. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So I'm not making it required. Just go to next. Visible next.
से right the same way you can have the other fields the city the country state things like this okay so my street address i have now let me just go and create the city city can also be text in this case or if you want you can put it as a pick list also it can also be pick list that we can have for the client and then later on you can actually add more fields also like phone fax website if you want right uh, now my let's say object is ready for the client all that i need to do is i just need to get a tab done for it so that the client uh, object can be accessed through that tab so it's very simple all that you have to do is you just have to go to setup create tabs and under that you will have to create a new tab for client pick any tab style that you want and go to the next next I want this tab to be visible only under project manager so that's uh, that's what I will select click on save that's it so now I have two tabs one for entering the client details one for entering the project details correct the same way you can continue and create a consultant object also as we see here the consultant object and details and all those things fine there is a small thing that I would want to do here. I need to connect the client and the project object. Okay. Under the project, I need to have a field which tells me which client that project has come from. If you have a list of clients and if you have a list of projects, then you also need to, you know, somewhere mention that the project is from which client. Correct. So for that, what we do need is <coughs> We need a field called client here under the project, okay, which can specify that that project has come from which client. So for that, again, you have to go and create one more field in the project object. Okay, so this is called a relationship field. There's a relationship between the client and the project. So whenever there is this concept of a relationship field, all that you have to do is you just have to figure out out of the relationship which is the parent and which is the child you have to understand that okay in this case what is the parent and what is the child parent is maybe project and the child maybe client parent is parent is project yeah and client is a child i think 
No. That's wrong. No. Client is parent, project is child. Because from one client you can have multiple oh, yeah. uh, projects. Okay. Or maybe possible one project has multiple client. No. I do not. But okay. you know, whatever uh, situation or whatever scenario that you will get to understand from your client or your requirement. But ideally, you know, one from one client, I should get multiple projects. But one project should not come from multiple clients, right? Oh, okay. So the client is going to be parent and project is the child. Now we just go ahead and need to create. Okay. So once you've identified which is the parent and which is the child, only thing that you need to do is you just have to go ahead and uh, define. Uh, sorry, you just have to go and create the. A relationship field on the child object you have to create the relationship field on the child object so because here project is the child I just have to go and create the relationship in the child object how do you do that again the same process set up create objects same process I have to go I have to create a field on project so I'll just go to set up create objects Go to the project object. And under this, you just have to go ahead and create the field. Okay. So just go ahead and click on new. Under project, you have to create now this is going to be a relationship field all right so the data type here is going to be lookup relationship the data type for the relationship uh, field is going to be lookup relationship okay there's one more type of relationship but i'll talk about that a little later for the time being start up with a lookup relationship okay. now this is going to be a lookup relationship field because it's going to relate those two objects so data type for the field is lookup relationship select it go to next Select which object it is getting related to. Related to which object? Which object will I relate this to? Project? Client. Client. Right. So relate it to the client object. That's it. Done. The rest everything is same. So just giving a label and name to the field. Same way as you do. Go to next. Make it visible. Go to next. Next. Save. So my app is ready. And my app also has two objects related. There is a relationship between project and the client. Okay. So the project object is there and the client object is there. So if you try to make an entry, let's say in the clients you have entered a client. Firstly, let's make a couple of entries in the client. So my client is IBM. Next entry. Next project. Even this came from Accenture, so I will select Accenture. All right. So this is how your relationship field is going to look like. It will give you this lookup option. You can look up and you know, search for the client and connect it. Connect to that particular client. Start date of the project, let's say 22nd, and so on, 38th, medium priority project, status in progress. Okay. Got it? So this is how you will create your app, right? So there are a few more things that I want you to do. I would want you to go back and you know finish off this app 
design this app right from the scratch completely okay so these are the fields that we have thought about i will just list down a few more fields here and then you, i want you to just go back and create it okay so project object i have these are the fields client object these are the fields that we have thought consultant these are the fields uh, in addition to this i want one more object it should be a task okay task should have a name or number task should have a number it should have a due date okay status which will be uh, similar to the project thing priority okay and it should be connected to a project and a consultant okay so here these two fields are relationship fields project and consultant so task is basically out of the big project uh, you know the small small task can be assigned to the consultants that you do this part you do this part right so that's what the task is so this task needs to be related to the project that okay this task is from which project and which consultant is working on the task so these both of them will have to be look up fields okay priority can be pick list so now the other thing that you need to do whenever you are forming this kind of a data structure right at the excel spreadsheet you should also write down the data type now you have seen the data types right so after this session i would want you to spend some more time you know into understanding the different data types which are available in salesforce you should list down what data type is when i get uh, into that particular salesforce object correct so like project name start date end date priority status client the name is text this is a date this is date priority is pick list status is also pick list this is a lookup relationship field client name is text street address is also text this is pick list state is also pick list entry can be pick list phone number will be a phone field tax will also be a phone field website will be a url consultant with first name is going to be text last name will be text email is going to be an email field phone is going to be a phone field mobile will also be a phone field task number can be text or number whichever you want okay so if you want to use only number then the data type can be number but if you want to combine text and number both then it should be text like a1 a2 these need to be stored as text new date is going to be date field status is going to be pick list got it so this is the application that i want you to design okay that's going to be your uh, homework okay these four objects all that you have need to do is just quickly take a screenshot of this so that you can go back and work on it